And this will be video five. Hopefully things will run smooth from here on out. Looking at the bargain wholesale section, um, got a couple of pinwheel pitchers. This one's especially nice. Hobstar Center pinwheels. Uh, eight point crosshatch Hobstars toward the bottom. Double punty cut handle. And it's only $45. There's a little taller, different take on the pinwheel design. Has opposing fans, cross-cut diamonds toward the bottom. Also, double uh, punty cut handle. Very thick handle on both of them. And that one's also only $45. This is a press-cut pitcher and four matching tumblers. Unusual flower design. So fracture in the handle. The set is only $25. So 8 inch diameter Shirley pattern low bowl by Maryland. Uh, might be a nick on the rim. I can't remember now. Um, very small. Uh, nice heavy blank. And it's only $20. It's a large 12 inch diameter tray, has unusual rim, nice cane cutting, up diamond centered flowers, and it's possibly by Fry, but I haven't had a chance to look up the design. And it's only $95. It'd be a nice shelf piece or even to use for entertaining. Another 12 inch tray is Russian pattern. Nice sizable piece, cut to pieces, um, probably from the 1960s. The Russian uh, buttons are cross hatched uh, and it's only $195. It's a nice showy piece. Here's a really pretty 12 inch diameter tray cut on pinwheels and flashed fans and draping miters. Excellent quality blank. Part of me says that this is something that Iorio did post Brilliant Period or right at the end of it, but the quality is pretty good. Uh, and it's only $155. Here's a Bohemian, European, um, probably Czechoslovakian tray, maybe 1970s, possibly 1960s. It's also 12 inch diameter, heavy, blank, nice quality, uh, lots of little cutting. 195. Here's a cute bulbous pitcher, diamond and fancy fan arrays, um, seven and a half inches tall. It's $95. Triple diamond cut handle, nice piece. Little candy compote. Um, I don't think if there was a nick or anything on it. I don't recall, but it's only ten dollars. Got a pair of little miniature compotes. These are really cute. Mostly a strong hop star design, star cut base, fluted and notched stems, and they are thirty-five each. Have three deco style colognes. They're probably from the late teens and the nineteen twenties. They are the last three of a bunch that I had. The tall one is 10, the blue one is 20, and the late brilliant period floral is 14. That's kind of a pretty one. It's got a pointy stopper. And here's a lot of three individual salts. One of them is signed Libby. I believe it's the engraved one. And there's a little tab handle, strawberry diamond one, and then a um, pressed clear-sided one. It, they are $20 for all three. These are some Royal Daltons. Um, Dinky Do. Top of the Hill. And Tinkle Bell. Those are the last three of a large collection I had. And those could be $20 each. Here's a really pretty bell-shaped decanter. 
I believe this might be Krantz Smith. It's a nice pinwheel design with two chains of notched prisms, faceted gooseneck, uh, bell-shaped hollow stopper. It's 11 inches tall and only 125. That's a nice buy. It's a pair of blown candlesticks, hollow bodies, very clear, high-quality blanks. I am uncertain of the maker. I think they're more contemporary, like 50s or 60s. They're 8 inches tall and only $95. And the Sign Hawks Sugar Bowl, two handles, footed, has a starburst base. It's nicely cut and it's only $10. Got three of these cane pattern tumblers. They are $30 each, and for the quality, this is a nice buy. They're great clear blanks and nice clear button cane. I have three Lawrence pattern tumblers, signed hawks. They're shown on page 77 of the first ACGA catalog, and these are only $25 each. I have a Queens pattern by Hawks, signed tumbler. And it is 375. This is a very desirable pattern. Next to it is another rare tumbler, but in Alhambra by Meriden. These are hard to find. And I have one of these, and it is 375. This is the last of four or five tumblers in Vanity by Fry. Apparently, that's a very scarce design. Um, unusual cutting coupled with nice copper wheel engraving. This one has a little quarter inch fracture at the rim. Um, it's kind of hard. There it is. No missing glass, but if you just want an example of it, it's only $10. And then this was an unusual piece. It's a Russian pattern tumbler. It's well cut, starred buttons. There was apparently a mend, and it was glued. But another, if you want an example, it's only five dollars. Here's a beautiful eight-inch diameter plate in Bellevue by Taylor Brothers. Really showy piece. Shows the pattern off perfectly, and one can admire the circle cutting in the uh, design. It's a lot of fine work that went into this. And to find a flat plate in this is very difficult. It is $11.95. Here's a set of six tumblers by Libby. Uh, they're shown in the large ACGA catalog. And I forget what the pattern is. I didn't write it down. Nice clear blanks. Very well cut. And the six are $150. And this is the called the buckle pattern by Hawks. It's shown on page 182 of American Cut Glass Industry by Jane Spillman. Um, very unusual design. I think the monogram initial is D. Um, got a nice hollow hourglass shaped stem, star cut base. And I have probably four of these and they are $2.95 each. Here's a really well done Harvard pattern picture, probably Bergen's India. It has the step cutting and it has double punty cut handle. Just, the um, cutting is really studded out. It's nice. Nine and a half inches tall and it is 165. Uh, this is a single tall hawk wine, has the square base by Hawks. It is engraved in the carnation pattern. It's got a faceted knob in the center and that's the last one that I have and it's only $35. It's a beautiful 7 inch plate, gothic arch design with floating hob stars, lovely cane cutting, really well done piece and that's only $85. Here's a bell, uh, really nicely done, has the original sterling clapper, Nice quality piece, has the 
pattern cut handle which really adds a lot to it um, and that one is $6.95 that's one of the better ones that I've had in a long time the seven inch plate in Bengal by Sinclair very difficult to find these great example um, on a seven inch plate it is $7.95 a cute little floral copper wheel engraved plate, six inches in diameter. It's only twenty-five dollars. <coughs> Got a pair of nine-inch tall candlesticks. Sign hawks. They're in the AX, flutes pattern. Faceted um, knob below the candle the cup and star cut the base. The pair is Make only sure two seventy-five. Because you have to come in either the front door or the back door. And as always, anybody that tries to discuss politics, please change Here's the subject. Here's a Don't set of six cut glass tumblers in and Tokyo by Jay right Hoare. We need kindness, kindness, They're kindness well done. all this stuff with COVID. Cut Thank on you. good corning blanks, deep cutting, and the set is $175. Here's a really cute, small, loving cup, three-handled. Copper wheel engraved florals plus wide miters at the bottom. Um, sterling top. This came out of my personal collection. It is $3.95. Here's a beautiful scarce design. It is Lillian Thistle, three lobed, tri lobed, low bowl by William Anderson. Fiery cutting, lovely thistles, um, tiny geometric cutting in the center of the flowers. This is a really nice piece. Um, $8.95. Hard to find. Beautiful eight and a quarter inch diameter plate cut in poppy and star. Fine, very fine blank. Hard to find engraving. Brilliant central hop star stars. And it is $3.25. That's a nice showy example. Have a new brilliant pattern picture. It's shown on page 82 of the large catalog. It's eight and a quarter inches tall, and it is signed, of course, and it is $110. And we will take a break at this segment.